How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Nate and I'm a contractor in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Well today, we are in Lansing, Michigan, uh, about an hour east. And today is a very special day, once again, because we are about to pick up a 1980 Cyrus Erie 25B crawler drag line. This one in particular, I've been talking to the guy about it for maybe a year, something like that, back and forth. And finally, I had some free time one day and I said, I'm going to stop out and check that crane out if you still have it. He said, yeah, it's still here. Come on out. So, um, came out here, checked it out. I was able to uh, get a little bit of the history on it. And ended up striking a deal. So today is Friday, October 14. And they are going to take it apart, bring it back to their yard over the weekend. They're going to clean it up really nice and bring it back to the property on Monday. So we are almost there. See you there. Okay. 1980 Bucyrus Erie 25B drag line. Yard and a quarter Hendrix bucket. Could be in good shape. Air controls.
right, guys. It is the following Monday, and they're delivering the crane any minute. I just talked to the project manager. He said it's on the way. So it should be rolling up here momentarily. He said 1.30, and it's uh, 1.25. So any second now, this uh, bad boy should be here. Well, at this point, we clearly made a pretty big mistake. It was raining, so we were rushing to get this thing unloaded. We didn't chain the cab of the crane to the undercarriage, and we didn't think that the swing lock was working either. So, when I went to unload the crane, gravity took over, it swung around, I slid off the trailer and put the sprocket right through the deck of the trailer. Ended up calling my neighbor to help get us out of the jam with his loader and excavator, so let's see what happens next. Well, that was exciting. All right, so it's a couple days later here. The rain finally stopped. And here's the 25B. We have to put the boom on it yet. But uh, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty straight 
straight machine. Nice big crawler pads. Those are uh, 36 inches. The only thing I don't like is they have this rotation resistant rope for the hoist and drag. So we're probably gonna have to redo all that. It's kinda, you can see right here, the outer wrappings are coming apart on that. Right here is your manual house lock. There's a nice big pin that goes through here. I was told by the seller and the people who moved it that the swing lock was not functioning. So that's why it spun around and slid off the trailer. But uh, after looking at it a little more uh, closely, we find that it is indeed working. So that's a good feeling. Could have saved a little headache, but such is life, learning experiences and such. Okay, there's the big pin right there, the cab. And here's all your controls. The 25B is completely air operated. So kind of a nice uh, change over the old manual Northwest over there. So right here is your independent boom hoist. Boom down, you got that on a little leg like that. And then boom up. Hoist, drag. And then over here is your swing and propel. So the swing is all on the left hand. Right here is your selection for that. So swing, propel, master clutch right here. It does have a fully insulated cab, which is pretty nice. So you can look right back there at the big Detroit diesel. It's a 471. I think this is a good spot to end the video. I do have more footage of the crane that I wanted to include in this video. We put all new rope on it and did a few other things, but it would just be too much for this one video. So we'll get that on the next one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.